Hello. So I'm going to start off with the creature editor. And uh, let's see. Let me um, load up a model. So here's a creature just showing off a bunch of the different rig blocks. Uh, as Andrew said, the, uh, the deforms here um, are animations that are being played back. So our um, artists authored these little animations uh, and then hooked these animations up to handle. So, uh, so for example, you can, as a player, scrub on this and it you know, curls or uncurls. Uh, and uh, the... Um, the uh, animations blend against each other as well. Let's see if I can get that selected. Yeah, uh, having the same problem Shalin did. Oh, let me just go into uh, windowed mode here. So these animations blend against each other as well, so that when you uh, when you tug on one handle, you're uh, you're exploring one dimension of the state space. You tug on the other handle, and you explore the other dimension. Um, pretty much all of these parts deform in various ways. So we want to let the player um, express, you know, a, a, a unique character out of all these parts. Um, and uh, and we did our best to make the deforms sort of do interesting, do interesting things, so that they'd be fun to uh, to play with, sort of interesting to pull. So uh, so some of them just do linear, straightforward stuff. You know, just a translated along this dimension or scaled along that dimension, but others, um, you know, will fatten things or thin things or curl them or uncurl them. And so the, uh, the initial inspiration for this was, uh, uh, geez, I was at an art gallery in New Mexico and there was this big topiary dinosaur they had in this art gallery. It was about maybe a story tall and, uh, and the, the body of the dinosaur was made out of boxwood, uh, hedge and, uh, and the, uh, the parts that gave the dinosaur definition, sort of the teeth and the claws and the spines and stuff like that, were all cast out of bronze. And I realized that uh, that for us, the uh, the skin of the surface here could be done with metaballs, and the things that give the creature definition could be, uh, you know, our, our cast bronze equivalents that are made by specific artists could be uh, could be built in Maya. So that's a creature editor and some of the rig blocks here. Um, you can see that there's, you know, a big library of these rig blocks that do all kinds of different deform. So every one of them is a little toy that you can play with and, and watch um, transform. And then we've got um, vehicles as well. Let me just drag a vehicle in here. Um, you saw the creatures. The creatures are rig blocks that are appended to the surface that are basically glued onto this metaball surface. Uh, vehicles and buildings, by contrast, are nothing but um, but rig blocks. So all the parts here are rig blocks that are pinned and stacked and interacting with each other. So you can see here you know, this base chassis is a rig block, and, um, and the artist that authored it put in these deforms so you could make different sort of shapes out of it. Um, the, uh, the wings here are rig blocks, so you pull on this handle and the thing goes convex or concave, and pull on this one and it gets a little bit longer. Um, pull on this one, pulls it out. Um, let's see, we also um, are using um, our effect system, Swarm, the same system that's being used to texture creatures and sculpt the geology of planets is also, well, you can also use it as an effect system. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we're um, hooking up all kinds of effects that the player can elect to put down on their, uh, on their vehicles or their creatures um, with it as well. So here we've got a kind of a rocket engine that, uh, that the player can stick on the back here. Um, yeah, let's see. And so uh, I'm hoping that uh, when players pick this up and play with it, they'll, uh, they'll find it uh, satisfying really just to explore the, uh, the creative possibilities of, uh, of these different blocks. And uh, yeah, so that's rig blocks. It's kind of the basic uh, unit of creating things in Spore. Thank you. Session.